It's your old diary, day 13, and I am tired, folks. I'm so tired. Um, I'm at a campground in Wairoa after having a beautiful night last night in the Airbnb in um, Gisborne, just dropping in with the Manaka Media crew. Ah, so the post-festival experience is still a part of the festival experience in many ways. Like, what I notice is that yeah, I'm physically tired, emotionally tired, I feel a little bit wrung out, and I'm definitely on edge a little more because of that. Um, my son, he's done. He just, he's like, I just want to be a home mum, and that's leading to a bit of conflict between him and I, I'm just trying to navigate that space. And this is where, like, coming out of a festival where there's so much uplifting, lightness, expansion, connection, all the good things, that it can almost feel like this post-festival low, almost like depression. And, and if there's any part of us that doesn't like that happening or doesn't want that to be happening or pushes it away, makes it into a problem, then, you know, we start to generate suffering. And what I've learned over the years from, from going to festivals is to really embrace this time and to just embrace the natural energy flow of being a human. Um, if I had a hot bath, I'd be having a hot bath. I did try and find us a campground with hot springs, but alas, no luck. The one that I wanted to go to was closed. I was like, oh man, I think COVID is really, yeah, it's been hard for accommodation providers up and down the country and now the wild weather we're having. Um, yeah, so if you're in your post-festival phase, what I suggest is to almost embrace how you're feeling. If you're feeling low and you're feeling tender, like I'm feeling low, I'm feeling raw, I'm feeling tender, I feel like I could just burst into tears, to really be okay with it and to recognize that nothing's wrong. It's just natural part of the, the vibe and the flow of being a human. And to embrace it, like eat some comfort food, whatever that might be for you. Um, have a nice warm bath get warm blankies around you and watch movies. Um, just just do the things, like I went for a walk along the river here and that was really beautiful, just feeling the energy of the river flowing past. There's something about flowing water. Oh my God, I feel like we've had so much water in the last week, but the flowing water, that feels good. And I also went for a walk today with the Manaki Media crew in Grace Bush and just going into the bush, it's like, it was, it's like virgin, pretty much virgin bush that was saved by one of the farmers on the land there um, and untouched. It's not very big, it's like maybe only like 32 hectares, uh, maybe smaller even, but it's so potent. Like those trees have been there for hundreds and hundreds of years and just being in there felt like having a forest bath. It's a thing. The forest bath is a thing. And that felt really nourishing, really nourishing. Um, so again, I'm just letting myself be nourished by the landscape. But really, I just need to sleep. And my son and I are in just a little, I don't know if you can see, I'm not even gonna try, I'm not even gonna try. Um, we're just in a little cabin, you know, single beds, a little bit shoebox light, but it's very beautiful, it's very cute, it feels great. But when I was napping and he was trying to make food, these two things cannot happen at the same time in a space that small. So we're feeling it a bit and yeah, just navigating that. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna step into his world. I'm gonna watch some TV with him. We can cuddle up under the blanket and just do his stuff for a bit and connect with him because in a couple of days he's going off to spend time with um other whanau. So yeah, my heart feels so tender in a really beautiful way. <sighs> Surrounded by like, yeah, I mean, just dropped in with so many beautiful people at the festival, some of them new and some of them old. And for me, this, this whole festival tour, it is just like opening the heart, opening the heart, opening the heart and surrendering, surrendering to what he was unfolding. And so just looping back around, I'm surrendering to my tiredness, I'm surrendering to my tender heart, I'm surrendering to the grey sky, I'm surrendering to what's unfolding, and uh, and I'm starting to get ready to head into Eden Festival at Haydn, so tomorrow I'll start to talk about that, because there's lots of juiciness going on there, and I'm, I'm really 
curious and actually really excited to go to Eden. It's going to be a whole different vibe from the festivals I've been at. I've never been to Eden Festival and I've never been to Haydn and I've never been to Ister, but I do know a lot of people um, in those fields, um, so I will know quite a few people there. I've never done sexuality work, right? I, I've, I've done it myself um, in my own way, but I've never stepped into it in a public space. And I probably won't at Eden either, to be totally honest, um, for various reasons. But who knows? I'm also going to be open and see what unfolds. So, yeah, stay tuned for what's coming next on Festival Diaries with Karalia.